This week I'll show you the gear I put on my backpack when I'm doing travel photography. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace and this is brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store with everything for photographers like you and me. Well, you may have noticed that we're not in my normal studio. I'm actually in Kochi, India and uh, a friend of mine and myself decided we'd go backpacking through southern India and I wanted to take some pictures along the way and that meant that everything had to be very small and lightweight and fit right here in this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our luxurious accommodations and I'm gonna unpack my bag and show you exactly what I brought with me. Hi everybody, it's Mark Wallace. Make sure you check out Adorama's latest contest. You could win some great prizes. All right, well, everything that I brought with me has to fit into my day pack. Actually, that's this little pack right here. It's a 10 liter pack. And so I had to really pack small and light. Now, one of the things I wanted to do is have a camera I could just take with me everywhere. And so I chose to take my iPhone 5 because I can put it in my pocket. It shoots great high definition videos as well as great photos itself. So that was my first choice of camera. And plus it doubles as email and all that stuff. Well, uh, this day pack here snaps off my bag. Let's open it up and see exactly what's inside. Uh, I wanted to have a really nice camera to shoot some uh, high quality video as well as portraits, street photography. And so I chose to bring my Canon 5D Mark III with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Now this lens I chose specifically because it's a 24 millimeter that allows me to do a lot of scenic photos, get some stuff at the beach and sort of some establishing shots, but it also allows me to shoot at 70 millimeters, which is great for portrait photography, which is the kind of photography I like to do. Now I talked a lot more about this in a How'd They Do That episode where I talked about shooting in India. Now, that was the last time I was in India and I talked about this lens, so you might want to check that out. It's at the Adorama Learning Center, you can look that up. So this camera, one of the disadvantages of this type of travel is it weighs about six pounds and that's just too much. And so uh, I would have preferred to throw a Leica or maybe a Fujifilm X-Pro1 in the bag instead of my Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, but I chose this because I know this camera so well and love it. But maybe in the future for this kind of work, I would choose something much smaller and lighter. But that's what I used on this, uh, this trip. Now to carry that, normally I don't carry it in the bag. I'm using a, uh, a rapid strap. This is a black rapid rapid strap and it allows me just to really quickly throw this over my shoulder and that way I can keep the camera at ready at all times. Now that's all good but what happens when I need to update friends and family at home? I really need a laptop because an iPad just isn't powerful enough to do all the photo editing that I want to do. So I chose a uh, MacBook Air and this doesn't have a lot of power but it's tiny. This is the 11 inch so it's really small. It fits right into my bag. The problem with this is it doesn't have enough hard drive space really to hold a lot of video and so what I did is I uh, also grabbed a Lassie Rugged Drive. Now these guys are awesome because they're built to take abuse. They're uh, water resistant, you can throw them around, they'll take all the rigors of uh, being thrown on and off an airplane and all that kind of stuff. And so that's what I brought as well. And then the last thing I have is just a little bag that has all of my uh, connectors, USB uh, chargers, travel adapters and things like that. So that's all in here as well. And so that's what I brought with me and uh, that's how I'm updating uh, all of my friends and family at home. And that's what you could do as well. So don't forget, if you wanna see all the links to this uh, gear, see exactly what it is and get reviews, all that kind of stuff, just go to adorama.com, go to the Adorama Learning Center, you'll see all the links. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we've posted links to all this gear as well. And so check that out. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. Just click the subscribe button. You'll see every single episode. So do that, it's free, and uh, you won't miss a single thing. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Hello, guy. Hi. Hello. Oh, I didn't want to hit you. Hi, come here. Come here. Oh, are you a cute puppy? Hi. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Hi there. Oh. Are you an Indian puppy? Ugh. So heavy. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service.
Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick 